Hey guys, look folks here and welcome to another FIFA 21 player review and today guys I'm going to be reviewing the 90 rated player moments Jerome Boateng. He looks absolutely insane. As soon as he came out at 6pm I was like, I just have to do this card. He looks absolutely faultless and, and goes for actually a really, really good affordable price as well. So I did go ahead and complete the SBC for absolutely free because I did have stuff left in the club. Um, after that now, I don't really have too many like 83s, 84s, 85s. Or, or even 86s, but of course when Team of the Year uh, fully comes out on Friday and stuff like that and over the weekend, I'll stock up the club a little bit more then. But, um, but yeah, with this Jerome Boa 10 card, three games played with him, zero goals scored and zero assists. All the games were played in Division 2 foot rivals. He does also have two-star skill moves as well as four, so before has some incredible in-game stats. The likes of his 98 composure, 96 reactions, 95 long passing, 97 strength, uh, 93 heading accuracy. He did also have the shadow cams that apply to him and then finishing with the player trade it's the, uh, the AI trait of a long pass and then also the long throwing trait, which is maybe a bit useless for a centre-back um, because if you're wanting to do a long throwing... You want you don't really want Boateng, who's six foot four, to be taking the throw in, even though he's got the trait. You want someone else to be, and then him being in the box to try and be able to get ahead of to it. So that's a bit pointless to kind of have, and then also the injury prone trait as well. And um, this card's fantastic. Uh, just like his flashback card last year, I don't know what the differences are in terms of stats. I think racing wise, I, I want to say the flashback card might have been a ninety two rated, ninety three rated because of the fact that it was higher rated and probably was a better card. It, it came later on in, in like the game cycle. I think it might have come around team of the season time to time with the Bundesliga team of the season. I might be completely wrong with that. You can go back on my channel and, and watch the video from it. I'm pretty certain it was during uh, during FIFA 20 and team of the season. But um, but this card is, is just fantastic for this stage of the game. He really, really is. And it wouldn't surprise me if he even rivals some of the uh, team of the year defenders in terms of like Van Dijk or, or Ramos. Now, listen, I have no doubt that those cards are better. But, but Boateng, and for how affordable he is... He probably isn't a million miles away from 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 one of those team of the year uh, centre back defenders. I mean, we'll talk about like as many pros. First of all, his physicality is absolutely fantastic. Having when he was six foot four in height, the ninety aggression and ninety seven strength, he can bully players off the ball with absolute ease. It is fantastic. It's so surprising how how like it, it easy it is to be able to do that in game with him. It, it's it's a great kind of uh, combination to have between the two of them. So uh, he just has a great presence as a centre back, being able to bully players off and never ever gets taken off the ball or whatever by opposition attackers. So so it's a great uh, asset to have. His physicality is absolutely superb. It, it is faultless one hundred percent, and the pros continue to him because also his pace is very very good uh, having the shadow chem star thing is personally the best chem star to have to him because it gets, it gets that acceleration from 73 up to 83 which is very good and his sprint speed goes from 86 to 96 which is absolutely superb so uh, he feels very quick and obviously he feels even like more quicker because of the fact that his dribbling for a center back is actually really really good I mean, he has 75 agility and 70 balance which is as far as center backs go that's really really good to have once again so um yeah pace wise he, he is superb you know having him and rotate the final David Alaba is just disgusting as a centre-back partnership. Like, honestly, um, I, I almost almost feel sorry for opposition people coming up against me, but then again, I have to deal with people's Neymars, people's Mbappe, so at the same time, I think I have a right to uh, to have Boateng and David Alaba in my team to try and stop people like uh, like Kylian Mbappe and stuff like that, but um, but yeah, I mean, his pace all around, he can keep up with opposition attackers, is absolutely superb, uh, his passing once more, extremely good, 87 short passing, 82 vision, 95 long passing, he can pick out a very, very good pass, uh, 100%, can get the ball well at the danger zone, uh, once He's either, you know, used his physicality or made a tackle to be able to get, you know, possession back. His, his range of passing is, is, is superb in general uh, and also has a 78 crossing. Not like that's going to really be much use, but, um, but you know, his vision, short passing, long passing, all quality to have as a centre-back. And then also his tackling, uh, of course, will go down as a pro to him. I mean, 97 stand tackle, 89 defensive awareness, only 85 interceptions, which isn't, like, out of this world, and that's why the shot of Cam is brilliant, because it gets that interceptions from 85, which is still decent, but not, like, insane. It gets you from 85 up to 95, uh, his defensive awareness goes up to 94, his uh, stand tackle and stand tackle both go to 99 as well, his heading accuracy goes up to 98. It honestly is a fantastic fantastic card that is faultless as far as I'm concerned also is 10 out of 10 value for money because he's coming in at around about 230 to 250,000 coins and as far as centre-backs go that is absolutely superb value for the card that you're going to be getting in return so um, if you want my opinion to, to anyone watching and thinking of doing him I would recommend everyone to do him if you can fit him into your team somehow because I think he's absolutely superb and I'm very glad I've done this SPC but anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys 
later.